All right. Well, I'll, I'll jump in. If uh, Sorry. Is there Mark? I, uh, yeah, I didn't know I was muted. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was looking at something. But, yeah, I mean, if you want to start off, Chuba, go right ahead. Yeah. All right. Um, so I guess first and foremost, I'd just like to thank everyone on the universe team for all the the incredible work these, you know, this last year and especially these last, this last month, last two months, um, you know, doing everything they possibly can to, uh, to launch the marketplace. Um, and so that's just been absolutely incredible. Um, the craziness internationally and, and everything else going on, you know, um, there was some, uh, sand with you, Ukraine drop and uh, a marketplace. Um, is there a little bit of feedback coming from somewhere? Uh, it's gone now. Okay. Um, so we put up a, a forum, um, thanks to Transmental, um, that we've aggregated a bunch of AMA questions in. Um, I still think we do have the, the channel open in here. Um, so if you do want to post questions in there, that's okay. But um, going forward, we'd, we'd really appreciate if people aggregate the questions into the forum um, as much as possible so that there can kind of be some discussion on these things with the community before we 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 go and comment on them on the the community calls. Um, so I don't know if we want to jump into questions or actually let me let me give a few updates on what's coming first. Um, so right now we have two planned releases that we are working on. The first is version zero point oh one or version one point oh one and then version one point one. Um, so the, the first version you guys are going to see is going to have a bunch of hot fixes, um, bug fixes, things like the ledger issue. Um, let me see if I can potentially read off, uh, one or two more things. I'll, I'll try to find it in a minute. Um, and then in the new version 1.1, 1. 1, um, which is also hopefully coming very soon, um, what you're going to see is the ability to share universe links, um, across social media platforms, discord, um, send links to other people, stuff like that, along with other kind of optimizations in that, that domain. Um, some of the the other major improvements we're looking to get as as soon as possible, though, you know, there there will be one to two sprints before these these are out, or things like um, eleven fifty five support, um, and yeah, so there's 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 definitely a lot of stuff in the works. Um, the the order migrations, bulk listings, um, but but that's uh it's gonna have to to come with with each feature release. So we will keep you guys posted on, on that. And, um, we'll try to, to aggregate some, some information on what's, what's kind of some specific features that, that are actively being worked on that, that you guys can, can then take a look at. Um, let's see. So we probably can jump into questions now unless Mark or. Yeah, I have just to add on to what, uh, Chu was saying is we are, um, we have been listening to the community too about like communication and, um, you guys want a little bit more transparency and like what's going on and what we're currently working on and like what features are coming. So, uh, we will be like, I think we're going to either start posting a weekly or a biweekly medium. That's just kind of like the progress we've made, uh, like the current week or the time, current time frame, and then kind of, you know, what to be expected in the next Brent, um, that's not always to say that we are going to, like, get those things, like, done, you know, like, if we post it one week and say we're working on this other thing next week, that doesn't always mean we're going to, you know, knock it out in a week, but we are going to try to be a lot more transparent and communicate, because it seems like that's what the community uh, is really asking the most from us, uh, from a team, and uh, we hear you guys, and we're going to, uh, we're going to work on that. All right, so I'll I'll start reading some questions, and I um, I'll start with the the forum. So first is JD Buffalo who asks, um, not sure the the best way to ask, but he's interested in what the team has learned from some of the back and forth. Well, it's, um, especially on the communication question and a lot of the issues there. I think that's uh, you know goes partly to what Mark addressed there. Um, also, yeah, I'm not going to read the second part of this comment. It's it's very concerned with with token price. Ultimately, what I can what I what I I personally believe is that the Focus and emphasis and the, the energy should be spent on building a healthy universe protocol. And what that means to me is, is working towards increasing listings on the platform, increasing matches and sales on the platform, increasing the number of users who go to the website every day and these kind of metrics, right? When all of these things are, are growing, you know, uh, you, can, you can come to your own conclusions. But but ultimately the the most important thing to the to the universe ecosystem is the the growth and health of the product. 
Um, and I think everything else is is kind of I don't want to say like tertiary, but but ultimately, yeah, it's kind of it's it's not the it's not what needs to be the priority because it's existential that the marketplace is is used and and accrues fees and and continues to grow, right? Without without growth, there is there is nothing. Even if token prices up or down, um, you know, it, it's it's all meaningless without a, a booming ecosystem and a universe protocol. Um, okay, enough about token price. Can we work with Gem to make the universe brand more prominent in the listings? OpenSea and looks pop, universe fades in the background. So I saw this question yesterday. Um, Transmental has sourced the icon for the the one that like is going to stand out and be prominent, and we're going to send that over to the Gem guys today, and then to Genie when we get integrated with them soon. Um, thoughts on two product update changes? What do you guys think? Contract checks checkbox before checkout. Um, essentially, the core idea here was that when a user goes to buy a contract, we or goes to buy a token, we give them some links on how to verify that they are buying the real contract and make them like maybe click a checkbox or sign a message saying that they have verified it. Um, kind of a to educate the community and be potentially like some some legal coverage. Though I don't know whether that that is material or not. I'm not a lawyer. Um, and then another idea he discusses is premium priority payments for projects. Um, and this idea would be something kind of like prioritized listings that may be, you know, like if you stake XYZ, you get a priority listing, or if you, you pay extra to the DAO, you get a priority listing. Um, I'm not sure how I, how I feel about that one particularly, but, you know, again, it's a DAO, post your responses in the forum and, and we'll see if that's, that's an idea that latches on. Um, Right now, there is too much supply and almost, okay, another another token price question. Um, we, I think, I think the, the additional kind of part of that is like backlinks to videos on how to check contracts. I don't know if there's any really good resources out there, but I know we can definitely put some in together. If, um, if yeah, I think um, this kind of is because of my comment last week of like, we're going to, like, we need to learn better, like security in uh, the space and like go check the contracts and learn to verify contract addresses. Um, so I, I mean, our team, uh, especially like Rain has even said, like he's gonna like try to make a video so that you can, you know, teach people how to um, how to verify that contract address. So I think that it's it has a place in the docs and we can add those things. Um, I don't think it's good UX or great UI to have a video in a checkout, especially like if you, I mean, like maybe. Like maybe like create like a small little course that when you first connect your wallet, you have to go through like the universe course. Like, I don't know. I don't like I think there's ways that we could like do that, but I don't want to like distract us from the marketplace to make something like that. But if we we definitely can make videos, I'm just saying like I don't like it would kind of be annoying if a video popped up in a checkout oh, screen. Uh, every time. Uh, link to a video or something i think i think we can we can style it elegantly um, yeah i think so yeah and just because two of the questions were about you know tokenomics i i do want to address that we are internally reviewing the tokenomics and potential incentives for the full marketplace launch i can't give details or, or any specifics on what that may or may not look like um as you know it's it's an ongoing legal process that involves making sure that everything is is completely above board but we do understand that that it is something that is is clearly frequently discussed the tokenomics questions, um, and you know we'll we'll hope to be able to provide kind of more clear cut answers as as we get them. Um, but there is definitely a, a big focus on that to 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 make sure that that all the incentives are aligned and that the incentives that that may exist in the future work towards increasing the health of the universe marketplace the growth of the marketplace, the liquidity, the number of matches on it, the number of users, and and all the other metrics that, that we may care about. Um, I think that, yeah, go ahead, Mark. Oh, sorry, it's uh, Rain, but uh, shout out to Small Time. He um, made a video for us uh, about how to check contracts. So 
I'll link to that in the pre-AMA channel, and I'll put it on the forum too. Appreciate it, sir. Um, we don't have any more forum questions, um, but the the pre-AMA chat is still open, so you guys are able to post anything that that else that you may want to ask. Um, I don't know if if um, any of the the other speakers on the the panel have any any thoughts on on this premium priority payment stuff. I don't know if that has a lot of support. It doesn't even seem like the author seems to to really be ecstatic about it. So I'm not sure we need to give it too much um, too much daylight, but just trying to to hone in on some of the community suggestions. I mean, yeah, my comment cool. is we probably shouldn't do it. Like, if we, I don't think, like, yeah, it's not decentralized if you can make a decentralized decision. Like, if we do it from a DAO's perspective, like, if as a community we decided that, like, you know, like, I don't know, board apes get to trade for zero or, like, I don't know, like, I don't. I mean, I don't know. We can. I, I don't think that it makes it de like centralized. Um, I mean, if we make the decision, like us, universe team, that makes it centralized. centralized. But if if the the feature would be done through a DAO vote, and um, and the the funds went to the DAO um, as payment for priority, then I guess it would be theoretically decentralized. Though I'm I'm still not not clear that that'll actually grow the universe marketplace um, because essentially you'll be seeing listings that are not at the floor higher up, which is maybe confusing, misleading, um, and probably doesn't really increase the <clears throat> healthy matches that you want to see. So another big lead that we're we're working on um, is talking to specific projects. I'm not going to name any names, of course, um, but with the goal being to set up white label marketplaces um, because our fees are are at 1.69 percent, and in the future we may have a vote to lower them even further. Um, we're already becoming a an attractive option for for those looking for white label solutions, um, and essentially it. Anyone who wants to start a marketplace, it makes their life a lot easier if all they do, if, when all they have to do is basically hook straight into the universe protocol, post their listings to us and retrieve them from us, and it's all nice and, and comfy. Um, and we take a much lower cut than, than OpenSea and Rarible and everyone else. Um, and, you know, I, there, there's also some interesting stuff there on, on security. I know um, a big issue with OpenSea um, over the last year has been this uh, this this trickiness with multiple listings and listings getting bought that you thought were canceled and yada yada. Um, so all both the universe marketplace and all white label solutions at the moment that would integrate would have like a token can only be listed one time. Um, with, and if you want to relist it, it has to be canceled. So that actually eliminates that issue. Now this could be changed with a DAO vote if we like, well, I want to be able to lower without having to cancel. Like the, we could build that, that's totally possible. Um, but right now that's in there as a security feature. Um, and I, I think it actually goes a long way in, in preventing a lot of that stuff we've been seeing on OpenSea. Yo, what's up guys? How you doing? Chilling. Um, I didn't know if you guys touched on the hardware wallets already, but I was just wondering if um, those were live yet or not. Um, yeah, we did, we did touch on those. So those are planned for the, the very first sprint. Um, so I think that feature actually may be fixed on testnet already. Um, I have to double check. Um, but I think I don't want to give a hard date, but I think by the end of like next week, it's to be expected. Okay. Awesome. Thanks. Appreciate okay. it. Thank you for your question, sir. What do you think about universe memberships that offer zero fees and other perks? Um, That's a dope idea. I like, the, I like the idea on paper. I think the specifics are, are very tricky to get right, of course. Um, but I think um, 
you know, we kind of do already have universe memberships in some way, right? Like polymorphs exist. And I'm not saying polymorphs are getting zero fees. Do not, do not misquote me like that. Um, but, but the point is there are already kind of universe membership clubs. Um, and so maybe that might be something to build off of if that's what the, the community is interested in. Um, other perks, I'm not, not sure right off the top of my head what those perks might look like. Um, I, again, I don't want to go back to something like priority listings, um, just because it, it sounds sounds like a nice simple perk, but I I don't think it would be effective. Um, but I, I I do like the the idea in the general direction, um, and you know, like like we said, kind of we are reevaluating the the tokenomics and and incentive models for release. Um, so so maybe a, a universe membership could be a part of that. I think maybe I misunderstood this premium listing thing because it's is this asking if this is um like how you can pay to like promote your listing? Yeah, maybe it's like a fancy background or like not a background, like a border around it or something like that, like a little rainbow. Like, border I mean, in, on like e on this example of eBay though, like I'm pretty sure like you can do like premium listings and they like show up at the top and you, they get more eyes on it. Um, so it's like you could pay extra to be, like, shown wow. at the top of the... But, like, most people... The reason why I don't think that would work with the way that, like, marketplaces are, like... Because I use eBay, and I I understand... Like, most people, when you're searching for, like, sports cards on eBay... um. Like, there's a bunch of different cards, and there's a bunch of different prices. But, like, the app doesn't sort based off of, like, which card it exactly is. Because there's, like, so many, um, like, Leo Messi cards. And there's so many Michael Jordan cards. But, like, some of the certain ones are worth so much. But, like, in NFTs, like, when you're looking... It's just, like, a different collection search type like most people like if you were to pay for a premium listing in the sense of like ebay your shit would just get filtered out soon enough um because someone's just gonna go filter the shit to go to the lowest price or something or like they have their optimal search that they try to do on the marketplace and then like, you can't show listings on an optimal search because then it just looks like ads and then it's like, this isn't decentralized, especially if people can just pay for their... It would be decentralized. Just, it, would be, it would be very gross. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think this works really. Yeah. It's kind of like, I, I don't know if you guys seen the that Mark Zuckerberg movie, and I don't know, maybe not, not the best person to, to take a, kind of take this from, but, but when he was building Facebook, they were all trying to get ads in there and he was like, no, it's not cool. Just not. We don't want to do anything not cool. I think that's that's a good strategy to follow. I like that. <clears throat> um, with the zero fee OTC swaps, I don't think we have have that planned right now. Um, if that's like a feature that, or maybe if if that's something everyone really wants to see, I think that's something that we can we can get prioritized. Um. Again, if, if that is something you and the community wants to see, definitely throw that up onto a forum post. Get a few responses on there. Um, funnel that into a snapshot and start working. Beautiful. Yeah, fluff or nutter. I'm not not a uh, not ecstatic either about the uh, the attacks on the metaverse, but nonetheless a good movie. Super good movie, dude. Yeah, bro. Makes you just wanna. I don't really know. All right. Um, let's see if anyone put any more questions in the forum. Doesn't look like it. No, I think if anyone's posting questions, it's going to be in the pre-AMA at this point. All right. Um, we'll give a few more minutes in case anyone wants to wrap up any thoughts or say anything. But yeah, I think the main focus here is uh, transparency and communication. Over the last week, uh, we've been speaking internally on, you know, like we're not so big on like paid marketing, um, essentially in NFTs and crypto. Like, um, 
there's very different marketing strategies. Like we're definitely not going to be marketing the token. Um, we're going to be marketing. If we are marketing anything, it's going to be the marketplace. Um, and but we are going to really be working on communicating everything to the community and um, just being as transparent as possible moving forward with what's going on and you know what's being blocked and you know that way uh, I mean we do, we're just going to keep listening to the community and we think that everyone keeps saying we need to be communicating a little bit more. Um, Ryan Skull's asking what's the current status of the scraper. Like, what are the metrics are we targeting? Yeah. Um, so I know we may have, in our Medium article, written that the scraper cannot get any faster. That was actually not true. We we, we managed to, to make it faster, albeit we didn't think we could at that time. Um, but it it, has, it is definitely getting faster, and we're, we're making optimizations there. Um, I do have to work on some tooling to actually get better metrics on how far through the chain it is. Because as I may have mentioned on community calls before, it's... It's not one process that just goes backwards in time or forwards in time and scrapes the blockchain. It's like 20 interconnected services. Um, and so until the NFT moves through like all of these services, it's not really completed. Um, and it can be at different states at different points in time. So it, it's, it, it's quite tricky um, to, to actually give a very clear cut answer on something like that. Um, when is completion expected is, is another tricky one to, to answer. Um, once we kind of integrate these these optimizations, I think we'll we'll start to work on timing kind of how much longer we think it'll it'll take to scrape the rest of the chain. Um, my 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 hope is that you know it's 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 quick, um, but that's that's relative, and you know all all scraping the chain, especially when you're scraping several years of it, is it it, it takes time. Um, and there's also a lot of you know things like dead IPFS links and, and other stuff out there that we have workarounds for, but it you know it always just goes to to throw bottlenecks in an already very 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 tricky uh, tricky system. Um, and I, I, I say you know none of the data is normalized. Anyone can put whatever they want on the blockchain. Um, but but yeah, so we're we're definitely working on the scraper, and it's uh, probably in my opinion one of the the most most important important things that we need to to kind of have hammered out before moving from beta to a full release. Yeah, and not to mention with the scraper, like sometimes we are going to run into like crazy file types and then we'll have to bring extra like extra support. So like eventually you will be able to spin your uh, ASM brains and like all those different cool uh, like spinnable NFTs and all those different files we will eventually bring. Um, it's just... We got to do that one by one and we'll run into those issues and we'll fix them. Um, but there's a lot of different file types. Our scraper actually does scrape the 3D files already. Um, and if you guys want to see those rotatable on the, the marketplace, once again, um, show some support for that feature, um, whether it's on a forum post, that's that's a good idea. And we will 100% implement it. I mean, we're very close to the matter of what to prioritize and there's a lot to do. Um, so if that's something you're very excited about, make sure to, to holler at us. Yeah, for sure. If we see people requesting stuff, we'll definitely try to queue it up on the priority list. Um, Skull, we've answered this question a lot um, about will the trading fees be distributed to stakers? Um, we... We, I mean, we can have a DAO vote about that, but essentially the team and uh, we're, we're not uh, pushing for that and we're not going to do that ourselves, but um, if the community wants to huh. do that. Yeah, I mean, we can't stop the community from doing whatever whatever they want to do. With that said, you know, um, there are certain things that we cannot do and will not encourage. Um with that said, we are looking into tokenomics, and just because that particular model is is not feasible for the team to encourage and put forward, um, there are other models we are looking into that are Web three esque and and kind of hit the hammer on the head there without kind of getting into that regulatory trouble. Hopefully, um, yeah, for sure. Um, another thing I do want to be transparent about is uh, one of the first things that we are really trying to nail down and fix is the filtering and the search optimization. Um, 
and also the search engine optimization. But we, um, we're gonna we've listened to the community. We've taken screenshots of things that y'all requested. Um, we are having to restructure it and kind of rearchitect the searching a little bit. Um, it didn't work completely the way that it was supposed to, and we think we've queued up the problems and know what we need to fix and what we need to add. Um, so, like, filtering by traits and properties and all that stuff is coming. Um, you know, being able to search a user, being able to search a collection, search an NFT, and then, you know, that either show up by, um, you know, we need to figure out if it's going to search by, you know, most searches or by volume. Um, I think that's something the community could give some input on, on whether, you know, um, but essentially we need to uh, just, we're just kind of redoing it, but it's not going to, I think it may take, you know, a few weeks to get all that sealed up, but um, that is one of our huge, huge main priority focuses because we know how important it is to have uh, a search that works. Um, resistance, we don't really, uh, it's hard to guess when the scraper could be done. Um, scraping, like it could be three months, it could be a year. Like I, I, I like we have absolutely no idea. Um, I think it's kind of like a guessing question, um, because it's like working in real time. It's trying to work backwards, but every time someone mints a new NFT, it starts kind of working from the beginning again. No, so, no. It, doesn't, it doesn't restart every time somebody mints, thankfully. That would be that would be horrifying, Mark, just so you know. Because uh, then all that progress would be undone every every block. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Transaction. Um no, it, it it definitely it definitely moves through it. Um, but hopefully in the next few weeks you're gonna see it move a lot quicker too. And I think the more blocks that it gets through, the faster it'll go. I mean Yes, yes, that's 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 very true because it's already discovered most of the the collections once it gets through like twenty five percent of the blocks and it doesn't have to rescrape them. Nice. Yep. Okay. Your discount. Um. This next question by Axe, um, where he's saying kind of tiered discounts. I think this kind of goes back to kind of what we already talked about with um, I decentralized question on the like the premium payments. Um, I guess not really. Um, maybe I mean honestly, we did kind of, or actually, I think Resistance brought up a membership, or Underground Man brought up a membership. Um, yeah, it's an interesting concept. I'd like to, you know, I think this would be kind of a cool discussion to have in a forum post of, like, you know, turning, like, some universe NFTs into, a, you know, ability to have a discount. But then, I mean, like, who pays that discount? Would it be, you know, the marketplace fees or... it sounds like i think that's the only place there's really room for any flexibility um as per the DAO, it's the only one that they can really control yeah but i mean if the marketplace fee right now is one percent then like what do you do you, like are you taking we can upgrade the royalties contract to for example have an nft that doesn't pay fees um and could have like a membership uh nft that that doesn't like these are all possible right um but um, it's just a matter of which one makes the most sense and is going. Yeah, I'm just. I was just looking at his like. T he's saying ten percent cheaper, twenty per twenty. Yeah, no, no, I, was, I, I I responded to that specific question, um, and it it seemed like a, a cool idea, um, but it would it would probably be very gas inefficient keeping track on chain how many purchases a user has, and then also, um, kind of like giving them a different fee rate. But maybe if we do this NFT model, we can keep track somehow of like how many you've you've minted and then let you let you or how many trades you've made and then let you uh mint this nft if you're like a power user or something 
and that like maybe it gets expired in like a year or something. Like in the NFT, just auto self destructs. Not exactly, but it stops working. So there's there's different ways we could do these kind of things. Um, but exactly, it's a matter of how sustainable they are. Um, okay, we, I see what Axe is saying. He's saying like ten percent of the one percent. I mean, yeah, that's not really. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm trying to think of like where this like if it's ten percent of the one percent fee, then it's point one, and that's not really like what kind of discount is that? But I mean, uh, on other market pl not like hmm, I know on like trading platforms that's uh that's that's something they like to offer but i don't know if that is really enticing on an on-chain platform so. yeah i don't know it's a really good question i mean it's a really good thought um i think to be honest x i think that you this is a pretty good question but i really do think that we should revisit this in a little bit when the marketplace is like has a lot more like listings and volume um to really see like where and like if this is a possibility and like if it's something the demo and the community wants then um yeah i'll have to think about it more i think it's a really good point also, for anyone that wants to know, like, t the reason Tyler wasn't on this call is because uh, he uh, had to go do some stuff. So, sorry for everyone who joined to hear Tyler talk. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why he's, like, ch ch chiming in behind me. <laughs> hey, Mark, can I ask a question? Yeah, for sure. Hey guys, it's John. Um, I poke my head in every once in a while to see what's going on, but this is just a question from like being kind of outside looking in. I know you guys are all, you know, you know all the nuances and details of all this, of the work that you guys have put in. Um, first, congratulations on launching. That's, that's thank so you. Awesome. We appreciate it. Blocking me out of my own house. Um, the other, the other piece is like even kind of knowing you guys and knowing how hard you guys have been working on this. I don't. Like, it would be helpful to know, like, as a, sort of an outsider to, like, what are the bulleted points? Like, what are the, the key differentiators that make Universe better than any other choice? Uh, just so it's, like, suit, not, not for me, I think just for the market, it would be easy, for, you know, um, to help them see even beyond sort of the percentage um, fee that's lower. Just, like, what other intangibles and what other, you know, big, uh, you know, uh, features or functionalities are, are, are way better um, just to kind of entice people to make the switch and to start even searching uh, in, in more than one place. That's kind of just a high level sort of like just being outside of the details comment. I mean, I can answer it pretty quickly and I'll try to leave the features out just because I don't want anyone to kind of know what some are the, like what some of the really cool minting contracts that we have coming out. Um, but if you want to know, like, from a marketplace, how we're different, um, essentially we're a decentralized protocol that is run by a DAO. And this DAO and this marketplace can't be taken down. And it's going to work, you know, even if, like, me, Tyler, Ryan, all of us, like, at this point, you know, like, I mean, I don't know about at this point, but essentially this thing can run without us. And that's the true power of a decentralized protocol or you know a decentralized entity um but you know this marketplace being run by a governance token gives so much opportunity and power into the community's hands like essentially what we've built is an open sea that the community can run and we are going to give full control to the community if the community comes in and votes something, like the DAO is going to do it because that is like essentially how governance needs to work. And the community, I mean, essentially um, we are going to open up a lot of universe and like move our work into like the Discord and start doing things with bounty programs where people can, 
you know, build certain API connections and really truly make Universe an open source, um, like building block connected in the, in the whole ecosystem. Because really like what the interesting thing about having a like a protocol and us like going and building tooling for the metaverse with some of these other um, like metaverse companies like uh, Fluff World and um, Crypto Voxels, Decentraland, Somnium, um, you know, having the ability to buy something off the wall because there's a, a front end UI that connects to a, you know, immutable protocol that no one can shut off. And there's listings anyone can access from any front end as long as they have the proper, you know, backing connection. But that's the power of having this like open source thing that anyone can connect to and build to. And, you know, that I think that is really like, you know, that's not really like a bulleted list, but I mean, that is how this is different than anything else. I mean, like Zora is a, it has really kind of positioned themselves in a way that we have as being a protocol, um, you know, that a lot of people can plug into. But Zora isn't a DAO that's run by, you know, the go a governance token. Um, so I... I think there's a lot of power in that. I think that's the main difference. Um, I mean, essentially, I know what we've been working on, and I know the features that are coming, um, and I know that the entire NFT space um, hasn't really seen stuff like this. Like, we're taking a more of the manifold ap approach of coming, creating really cool custom contracts that you know are unique and people are going to use, but like. The people who are writing these contracts are like the free thinking philosophers of um, of the NFT space. Like Tim Kang is like one of the smartest people that I've ever met when talking about NFTs. And like everything that he's ever told me was gonna happen happened. And like he's writing these contracts and like they're for stuff that no one's doing right now. But as soon as people see these NFT contracts, they're going to be like, holy shit, I didn't even know that we can make NFTs like this. And then people are going to have a whole new medium of how they're going to be able to, you know, mint their work. And we're going to have all these new types of NFTs that Universe is going to bring. And people are going to be like, what the hell? But essentially, I'm not going to give any alpha on those, but we have three or four um very unique minting contracts that are coming to the space um you know within the next two months will be on the universe marketplace as long as we have the bandwidth to bring it all um assuming that we get all these uh marketplace bugs fixed pretty quickly um and fix the search and um i think that's really the main things we need to do but um I'm always forgetting stuff though. Um, but yeah, guys, like, I don't want to be up here and just say, like, oh, yeah, we're building the biggest, baddest marketplace ever. But, like, our marketplace essentially is going to have its own features. Chuba can talk more about some of the marketplace features coming if he wants. But when we sought out to build this, it was to be built for artists. And, um, that is still going to be our focus is creating new tools for artists to mint work and and to create a new medium for them to show their work and to show their art like um i'm really excited about some of the stuff that we've built just because i want to see what people do with it like there's one contract that we wrote that i really want to see what zach uh transmental is going to do um he probably has no idea what i'm even talking about but um uh I'm super excited. But I'll hop back into some some more questions cuz I've get we've given some people um highlighting the benefit and difference. Hey, so resistance we are actually working on a video for that. Who was saying something? Yeah, I was going to jump in um with that that question. Where was it? Um the one you were just answering. Resistance tagging me. Uh, no, right before that. 
Can you talk about any integrations you'll have with Fluff and ASM? Okay, yeah, I can talk about some of this stuff. Um, so, okay, we are going to talk to Aaron. I'm going to have a conversation with them. I have some stuff that I want to integrate. Um, I'm an advisor for Altered State Machines. I don't know if people know that, but, like, I'm one of, like, six or seven advisors. Um, I have a call with Hal from ASM Tomorrow, and we have a lot to talk about. Um, I also am going to get on a call with Aaron and Tyler. We have some things we want to talk about. I know Fluffs and ASM have buttons on their site that say OpenSea. That's going to be one of the topics of our conversations. Um, we are probably not going to ask them to change those buttons right away because, like, until we get that search function, I don't want to, like, be asking Aaron and everyone to be, like, pushing a marketplace that doesn't have, like, a function, like a search that's going to make people want to use it. So us thinking, our thinking right now is within two to three weeks, if we can get this fixed, I'm going to get Aaron and, like, we're already aligned with them. Like, everyone on the Fluff, ASM teams, um, like, like, we all talk together like i've been working with david and aaron for four to like three years tyler's been working with them for four to five years like like we're very all very aligned and we're all going to work together um i can tell you guys some integrations like that i have ideas of. contributors in universe so aaron is well, like, just a lot of universe too so it's 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 mutual like we try to help them and they try to help us even the fluffs existing like we're you can go on their website and scroll down and see like we're partnered with them we help we we help like basically create those um yeah we we have all been i mean aaron's an advisor for universe um so i mean everyone's all very very involved um but i can give some just like examples of things like even interdow i think has great opportunity on our on our marketplace because like when you have a decentraland or a crypto voxels asset or a fluff burrow that you want to rent out you should be able to rent that out through universe like through the front end of universe but it's get r rented out on the you know through the landworks back end and i'm not sure who like I mean, I'm not sure if everyone knows this, but LimeChain, who runs InterDAO, like we actually have a lot of developers that work at Universe from LimeChain and who are all very involved. So, I mean, this just goes back to the alignment that we have with some of like, you know, these these big projects. Um, Tyler is a founder of InterDAO. Tyler is a founder of Fluff Worlds and Non-Fungible Labs. Um, Tyler's also an advisor for ASM. So, I mean, I want to be able to go to the marketplace and see my brain and then click on it and, you know, maybe drop it in my fluff from the marketplace. I mean, I think building a, a marketplace that has interoperability with, like, the metaverse and gaming assets is going to win. Um, but we have to have teams want to come and integrate with us. Um, so we're going to start with Fluff World, you know, and, you know, we'll have a button that lets you jump into your burrow from the Universe website. Um, but it's going to take time for us to make those integrations. But our main focus is actually building a marketplace that works before we add all that cool shit, as fun and as sexy as that sounds. But, um, yeah, just know that that stuff's coming and. We're not going to push that on the fluffs just yet, just because we want to have a marketplace that they want to use. And um, I think that's fair uh, to say that, you know, I mean, I'm saying that about a product that that we built. So I'm just trying to be as honest as possible. Because transparency is massively important in the in the DAO. Okay, guys, I actually have to go do something really quick, but I'll be back if this AMA is on. Where do we leave off, Mark, on the questions? Uh, we got through them all. 
uh, Atari De Demichi. Um, it was kind of the last question there, right above where resistance tag me. But I gotta go. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, I think to to highlight one of the points Mark was making earlier about some of the the key differences or benefits of the universe marketplace, and he mentioned multiple times that you know we're a DAO in a community, and I want to really stress how important the the DAO controlled marketplace is. Because I, I think kind of it's like, okay, cool, you can govern the system, but what does that really mean? It means that things like, for example, say the year is 2030 and you write articles about NFTs and link to universe and you get like a 2% cut for doing that every time a sale happens, right? And all of a sudden universe is like, we want to make more money or, well, universe can do this, but say competing centralized platform goes, well, we don't need to be paying these guys anymore. Um, we can just stop paying them fees. Well, at Universe, something like that can't happen without a DAO vote. And all the, the people involved will have had plenty of time to kind of participate and get involved and, you know, stop something like that from happening. And, you know, that goes from examples like that, which Tyler much better described on a previous call to everything from content that's getting pulled off our platform. Um, aside from, you know, illegal content and stuff that is egregious, it needs to be pulled. Um, or DMCA requests, right? We have to absolutely abide with those. Um, for content to be removed from the platform, we're going to need a, a DAO vote so that the the community is is aligned on on what is is being removed and why and and what the transgression was and and whether maybe they can modify it to comply or or, or what. Um, looks rare isn't decentralized? Question mark. I know it's a wash website. So looks rare um, is not a DAO as far as I know. Um, they do have a, a token and smart contracts, so I don't know if they, they ever plan to be a DAO, but as far as I know right now, they don't have one up and running. Well, Brian, there's a question that says, what's the current status of the scraper with like bullet points? Do you see that question? Yeah, yeah, we, we went over that. Um, okay, nice, nice, nice. Yep. Yeah, I don't think I see any other questions that we didn't talk about either on here. Oh, I looked at the wrong tag. I see now where, where resistance tag Mark. He had tagged him again earlier as well. Mm -hmm. Do we want to leak any alpha on Graviton? I, I don't think that, I think only Troy can talk about that um, as far as like, because of the fact that he knows the alpha. I, I don't know the alpha. But if, if, I don't know if Troy is on this call right now. I think I see his name. If he wants to talk about it, he might be busy, but if he can hear us and wants to talk about it, he's welcome to. What's new with Goblin Town? You will have to ask the Fluff World peeps about that because remember we explained, Tyler can, Tyler did come up with that idea, but um, it the Fluff team took it over. So if you want info on Goblin Town, you're going to have to press the Fluff team the secret team, all those guys. We've told you everything we know already on there. Um, but it does look like that they've been leaking some info on it. Like the seekers were part of the lore for the goblins. If I had to guess, I would guess that there's going to be another like drop similar to the seekers and it's going to be the goblins. But I bet it'll be the similar style, like the exact same type of drop, if I had to guess. <laughs> looks fair isn't decentralized i know it's a wash site i i um i i want to the only reason i just read that out loud is because i want everyone on this call to understand this viewpoint that um we have at universe it's basically like looks fair and open aren't necessarily like our competition or like our enemy like we are ho hoping that people realize that ethereum is like the superior blockchain for nfts and just in general um you already see like these issues with these bridges that are getting hacked that like um, L2s are already becoming a problem. I think that um, in the future, uh, Vitalik, like he always says, will eventually get the gas fees lowered and ETH will be the thing everyone uses. Um, our competition, in my opinion, is really just like other blockchains that are trying to take the market from Ethereum and mainly like just anything that competes with the NFTs on Ethereum in general. OpenSea um, succeeding and looks rare doing well um, is inevitable if Universe does well. So there's no way that we're ever going to be like against 
OpenSea or anything like that. Like I actually, as a person at Universe, want them to succeed because if they succeed, that means that we have more opportunities to succeed. Um, our product is better than both of those com- um, products. It, it, it just is. So I'm not worried about like taking away their. I'm not worried about anything that, as as far as that. I actually hope that they do well because if they do well, that means that we're gonna do well. Um, so I, I I don't think Universe is ever gonna. Uh, jump in. I see a lot of people like always trying to get us to like say something bad about OpenSea. It's never going to happen because of the fact that we like OpenSea and um, they're they're they might not be the best marketplace in the future, but um, they laid the foundation for what like we want to build and like do better. <clears throat> um, never what mind. do you think, Ryan? I don't feel, I feel like I'm seeing any more questions. Do you have anything else that you want to add? No, I think um, I think we we covered kind of all of the questions. Um, we covered uh, you know what we're gonna be focusing on and and uh, working towards in the near future and a little bit in the long term. Um, I know I'm inc- incredibly excited about what's coming and I I hope everyone else is as well. So I know I will see you guys in two weeks on this call. Um, and yeah. If Thanks you're everyone. listening, if you're listening on YouTube, guys, like and subscribe. Uh, share with your friends and uh, make sure you're posting listings on Universe and um, telling your friends to do the same. That's what really helps us is uh, just community marketing instead of uh, you know the paid stuff that some some of the people want. Like just listing your NFTs on Universe is actually smart too because you, as a seller, you um are saving money if it gets swept on Gem. Like if you're trying to off NFTs and 90% of the 90% chance if you're listing on the floor, it's going to get bought on gem, not on OpenSea or, or, or LooksRare. So listing on OpenSea or LooksRare is actually really ineffective if you're trying to like make as much money possible off your NFTs because they, they're going to get bought on the same place regardless and you could be saving that fee. But yeah, um, you know, we can't end it. I think that's important though for y'all to remember. Like I, I um, that guy Max Stealth. Everybody, I know a bunch of fluffs are in here. That guy Max Stealth. He sweeps right every time he sweeps. He uses gem. So if you guys were listing your fluffs, like the people selling their fluffs, were listing them on Universe. When somebody like Max Stealth sweeps the floor, um, you would be essentially making more money having that listed on Universe instead. So I'm just. I'm not trying to convince you to do anything. I'm just stating a fact that you're effectively losing yourself money listing on other websites because people are buying on gem regardless. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, we can. I, I, um, you guys all know this. That's why you're in the MMA. AMA. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why we're in MMA. Soon there's going to be a cage match between me and Zach because of how he just said that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna you you can share the video on YouTube. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks everyone. Cheers everyone.